Well, if you are looking for the perfect game to add to your next family game night, there is no shortage of fun games here at Dr. G's Brainworks in Marketplace Mall. I have the owner, John Dimmitt, hanging out with me. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much for coming out. It's super exciting to finally have you out here in the store in our new location over next to Dick's Sporting Goods in the mall. Well, that's what I was just going to say. Tell me about this new location because yeah. you've just kind of moved, you've just shifted a little. Yes, just next door from where we used to be, a little bit closer down towards uh, Dick's Sporting Goods, right across the way from Santa, actually. And we've got all of our wonderful games and activities in a new streamlined area. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It is a little bit smaller, but hopefully easier to find everything, and that's exactly what here uh, we are here for with myself and my staff. Well, yeah, and I know lots of families over the holiday season get together. Game night is always a fun tradition, yes. so maybe you want to add a fun new game to the mix. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little about what kind of games we have on this side of the wall. Well, we've got all kinds of different games and activities for all ages. Over here, we have a lot of our problem-solving and puzzle-based games for all of those brainiacs in your family and those that want to get a little bit better at being a brainiac. Brainiac too. So we've got games and activities here and a little bit farther down the wall that will help to train up your problem solving skills, your dexterity skills, your quick based decision making and a few other things as well, especially with these games over here, which is where you actually will find the Dr. Eureka game that we played a few weeks back. That I beat Tim at. Let's yes. just throw that in there. <laughs> um, and several other games similar to that, like Top That, Shaky Manor and Mackie Stack, all wonderful excellent games that are all going to have that same kind of excitement. And these are all games that could be for any age, any level? Yes, generally speaking these ones are going to be about seven and up, but I've seen children okay. as young as five have a really wonderful time when playing with their families as well. Well, if we do head to this other side mm -hmm. of the store, now these would be games geared towards the younger kids, yes. is that right? Yes, zero to six years old in our early childhood development section. We have games and activities for all ages between zero and six early infancy all the way to six years old that will help encourage early learning skills as well as social skills um, with some of the Ibu games similar to the friends and neighbors helping game or things like that. Yeah. All kinds of really excellent options for the young ones here as well as all the way up to 99 in the other sections of the store too. Well, and if it has some educational purpose and value behind it, even better, right? Absolutely. So you've actually got games set out here so people like our friends here mm -hmm. can demo before buying because yes. you maybe want to make sure it's a good fit for your family. That's actually one of the biggest things we want to make sure of here at Dr. G's is that you know how to play the game before you leave the store. We want to make sure that you're getting a game that you're going to enjoy that's going to be fun for yourself and your family and is exactly what you want. So that it doesn't just stay shoved in the closet exactly. gathering dust. Okay, so this game is kind of maybe a little bit of a, a time investment. Yes, yeah. <laughs> this one's going to be about 30 to 45 minutes long. It's called Carnival of Monsters. It's by Richard Garfield, which is the same creator of Magic the Gathering, a very popular card game. What you're going to be doing is collecting different monsters from all over the planet as a member of the uh, Royal Monsterological Society, oh. and you're going to be trying to collect the ones that have the most point value at the end, the most scary, the most incredible, and the most beautiful monsters. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then here we have a game geared towards maybe the younger ones. Yes. All about cats. <laughs> well, Furry Foodies is the game of knocking food off of the table in order for it to, in order for you to get it for an early dinner. As so one if of I the were to pick here. a card, is that how you do it? You're how you know how to move? Slide these through first because you can move. Oh two spaces on your turn. You can move left and right or up and down. And you're trying to knock things off of the table to eat and gobble up. Exactly. And at the end of the game, you're going to be paying attention to the numbers here because you're going to be able to use them to build different sets to score different amounts of points. Oh, look at that. So fun and a little adding and thinking. There's okay. always a little bit of that to all the games, which is great. And then <laughs> yeah. IC is an excellent one where you're going to be flexing your creative muscles a little bit, trying to come up with word combinations for the different images here. So one of my uh, huh. wonderful co-workers earlier this morning came up with one that was excellent for us. He pointed to this card and this card and said, well, somebody's going to be in trouble for breaking that vase. Oh. So I see is going to be similar to different games like that. It's a really excellent creative game where you're going to be using different images to come up with awesome so words. So really on this game, there's no wrong answer? Correct. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, it's going to be trying to get your friends to guess what you have in your head based oh, on the oh, images. Gotcha. Okay, now, Ghost Blitz. Is one of my absolute favorite fast-paced dexterity games in the store. With this one, we're going to be looking at the cards set out here on the table, and you're going to be trying to pick out the correct one of these items, almost spoon-style, based on the card. So if we flipped over this card first, 
we're actually going to be looking for something that is not there because nothing's quite right. The book is not green in real life and the mouse is not red. So it can't be either of those items. Well, it can't be the green item because it's wrong in the picture and it can't be the red item. So the only thing left is the ghost because there is no white and no oh. ghost in the card. Okay. But if you have one like this one where the mouse is gray, you have to grab the gray mouse because it's perfect in the picture. So there's extra decision making, some positive and negative clues, and all trying to race against your friends. Wow, these are great. And then we've got one final one here. This one, do you build this part as part of the game? Yes, this is actually called the Cuba Maze products, and they are part of our fine and gross motor section because everything is brain training here. Building something like this and planning out is going to be absolutely excellent for your cognitive processes. And to be honest, who doesn't love building a marble, ra <laughs> uh, marble race? Because as you go through, these ones have a sphere cut out in the center of them. So you'll never have to reach in and grab the marble and kind of edge it down on its way, right? Okay. It'll always find its own path all the way down. And the more marbles you drop in, the more fun you have. Well, this is so fun. So many great games. Gifts, um, games make such great gifts for um, anyone in the family. And I also want to mention back on the back wall, you've mm. got games for the adults who maybe want to have like a little edgy party game going Very on. Very much. We have a whole section for the edgy party games for those folks that are a little bit older. Maybe after the kids go to bed, you want to have, you know, some board game fun with yeah. some other beverages as well. And we have some games there for you um, <laughs> and some other games as well for the folks that are maybe between 14 and say 30 my age that really enjoy a good sit down strategy game similar to Carnival yes. of Monsters that we saw earlier. We have a ton of games similar to like Wingspan, Planet, Parks, um, Scythe, Gloomhaven, yeah. all kinds of wonderful things. Well, Christmas will be here soon. New Year's Eve, a great time yes. to bust out a great game. And you need to come check out Dr. G's Brainworks. We've only sampled just a snippet of what they have to offer here in their store. John, thanks so much for having us. Thank you so much for coming They've got out, a Heather. great new uh, website yes, for people to check out. Yep, uh, drgsbrainworks.com. Wonderful store where we have a small selection of our in-store offerings available online. And you can always check out our Facebook page for more announcements as we add more to that website. And we will definitely connect you to all of that information <laughs> at CILiving.tv.